If you're a speaker, presenter, or performer, have you ever heard the concept of stepping on your laughs? It's very common in emerging speakers, presenters, or people who are new to using humor. Where they actually get a good laugh and they don't know what to do with it, they aren't comfortable with pausing, so they continue to talk. And because they continue to talk, they actually step on their laughs, which suppresses them. Our whole goal and what we want is to make a laugh. So if this is time, and this is the height of the laughter, this is what I call the concept of the laugh graph. If the punch line or punch word or phrase is right here, all of a sudden, boom, laughter erupts. And sometimes you may have had a time where someone, you get a laugh, and it quiets very quickly. It's like, ha! Sometimes the audience, if you're not fully connected, that will look like that. Or you have that time where the laughter grows and then it just rolls for a long time. That's just taking that laugh graph and extending it. But the concept that I'm talking about, this is our goal. Our goal is to get that apex as high as possible. But if we really understand what happens in our mind as a newer speaker is that we're not comfortable with not talking. So what we actually will do is we'll hold the pause just for a second get that laugh, and then you and I will start talking again. And what we actually are signaling to the audience is to stop laughing, I have more to say. So because they like us, because they got the laugh, and they see us talking, they automatically shut up to listen or lean in more. So they actually suppress their own laughter, but we evoked it because we started talking. Our goal is to let them laugh. We need to work on holding our pauses longer, especially if a big laugh is happening and we get that. In my world championship speech, I did a joke or a line about my going home to tell my parents I wanted to be a comedian. If you ever see a recording of that speech, you'll actually see me going to my lips to actually stop myself from talking. Because in my head, I have that natural tendency like we all do as we're growing uh, in our skill of speaking and presenting. I was trying to stop myself from cutting off the laughter. So instead, I stopped, I paused, and I let them laugh. Remember the concept of the laugh graph. One of the best things that we can do as presenters is when we get the laugh, shut up and let them laugh. So if you're interested in learning how to get more laughs or how to heighten the height of your laughter, check out www.getmorelaughsbynextweek.com. I'll show you how.